I'm Drew Stormont. I'm a Power Applications Engineer here at Wolfspeed. Today, we're going to take a look at the press-in, press-out process for the Wolfspeed Wolfpack family of silicon carbide power modules, which are universally designed for industrial power electronic systems ranging from 10 to over 150 kilowatts. Before getting started, we recommend that you visit wolfspeed.com and download our Wolfpack mounting guide for specific technical information. And be sure to observe all applicable safety precautions during the simple and efficient installation. Let's dive right into the press in and press out process. All Wolfpack modules are designed to utilize a press fit connection to the circuit board or PCB, which completely eliminates the need for soldering. This also allows for a far easier removal and reinsertion into the board if needed. Always use care and precision for the press force and speed to ensure the proper connection to the PCB. Here we see the complete recommended press-in setup, including the requisite equipment, tools, and fixturing. Please keep in mind that the layout of your board and its components will vary depending on your application. Proper PCB fixturing is critical for a successful press-in. Each PCB and application are different, so tooling must be designed accordingly. Determine which components will be on the board during the press-in phase to avoid interference in fixturing. Without proper support, the board will experience flexing during the press-in process. Not only can this lead to improper pin engagement, it could potentially damage the PCB or its populated components. To prevent warpage once the press in force is applied, we recommend supporting the board with a flat, sturdy surface with pin cavities such as this. Next, you will need a press in tool designed with specific dimensions so that the modules are always mounted with the recommended gap between the bottom surface of the module and the PCB. If the modules feature pre-applied thermal interface material, or PIM, you will need to develop press-in tooling with proper locating and tolerancing of the internal cavities to provide a sufficient press area. This will avoid interference with the TIM pattern. Now let's take a look at the automated press. Apply the prescribed press-in force to ensure proper contact without damaging any components. That recommended force can be found online in our Wolfpack mounting guide. Set the press machine to the proper press in force and speed and run the program. Once it is safe to do so, remove the PCB assembly from the fixturing and carefully observe the quality of the press fit connection. Is the module at a correct height and is it uniformly mounted? Do the pins protrude evenly through the PCB? Are the module and PCB undamaged? Is the force per pin within the recommended range according to the measured force plot? If the answer to all of these questions is yes, then your press-in process was a success. If not, you may need to adjust your setup. The press-out process is even easier. As a rule of thumb, the press-out fixturing can be common for all Wolfpack modules, including the FM and GM footprints with and without pre-applied TIM. The press-out tool is a simple block with a flat surface that contacts all of the pins. The press-out fixture will support the PCB and catch the module. For PCB assemblies that are already populated, make certain that the press out tool and fixturing are carefully designed to prevent interference. And those are the ins and outs of the press in press out process for the Wolfspeed Wolfpack family of silicon carbide power modules. To find out more, just go to wolfspeed.com wolfpack.